when I see this beautiful, pristine landscape of Nepal, I don't feel like going anywhere in the world. Though they say that there are many beautiful places in the world, far more beautiful, but I haven't seen any such beauty in the world so far. Though I haven't got a chance to visit these many places. However, I've been to the United States of America as, uh, as my school uh, sponsored my travel there and back in Nepal. However, I still remember the the, the roadways from Buffalo to New York. It took us around six to seven hours bus journey from Buffalo to New York, but I didn't see any such beautiful places on the way. Although there were some animals crossing the road here and there, and this told me, or let's say, this concludes that there in the United States pays a special attention to the wildlife. No matter what people say here or there, anywhere in the part of the world, but the kind of care and love for the wildlife the United States shows is never anywhere if I uh, understand. Uh, because uh, you know what, when I went to Harbour campus there in 2019, along with our, our students and our teachers faculty from James School, there also we didn't find uh, the kind of, uh, in fact, we didn't find the kind of love and care for animals here in Nepal and any other parts of the world like they saw there. Because when we were walking uh, in the streets of the Harvard University, or uh, let's say in the campus of Harvard University, there I could see the squirrels coming down, jumping out of the tree branches and sitting on people's hands and, and picking up the nuts that they provide. The, there were a lot of nuts, especially the hazelnut. I saw the plants of the hazelnuts there. Uh, though it's quite tricky for people to uh, pick up the hazelnut and then open it and eat the seed inside, but uh, they could do it, So, but nobody paid attention. This so that the hazel not work uh, not only for only the squirrels and the birds and animals there. Now let me come back to see these beautiful green hills here. Can you see that beautiful green hills? Look at the sky, the blue sky in the uh, backdrop, and this uh, almost uh, half of the sky is overcast, but it's cast with it's cast with the white cloud and little cumulus is there. And you know what uh, I like. The environment here so much so uh, let's uh, listen to some of the some music here and again i will cut okay let's go further and then see uh, i expected some rain there as i was climbing down this uh, hilltop what we call devrani the weather was so beautiful and so cool um, i never felt that there was a temperature of around uh, let's say 25 degrees it was almost like 16 to 17 degrees celsius but uh, later as we descend down the hill and reach this green pathway down there the temperature goes as far as uh, uh, 32 degrees celsius and from green pathway as you climb down again to Baise and then to Hetora the temperature rises uh, to 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, we expected some rain here. Uh, several times the clouds uh, uh, overcast the sky here and there, but uh, again uh, it could not rain. I don't know uh, what um, stops the rain from falling. We were expecting rain, people were expecting rain, the birds and animals they were expecting rain, but we didn't get the rain. So the, uh, the village down there you can see is Bhimpedi. Uh, municipality and it's a beautiful place uh, uh, by the side of the river uh, Samari River I guess I, I'm not sure about the river uh, but uh, it's some kind of beam river and we are heading down and almost in the next uh, uh, 30 to 40 seconds time we will be crossing the breeze a small uh, uh, what do you call the metal breeze Built by the Nepal Army. So you can see this, uh, the temperature uh, also is very, uh, very, very cool and congenial. So 
बाय बाय टेक केयर सी यू अगेन विल सी अगेन